Hit run. Okay, now we can hear a 16th note pattern. To create our rhythm, let's turn off a few notes. Now set the edit selector to curve one. Change each knob where there is a note, so that a different formant will sound. You can sweep each knob around until you're sure each position sounds distinct. Now we want some playability to this patch, so we need the pattern to change pitch as we press notes on the keyboard. Let's go over to the part of the modulation routing section that has a source and two destinations. Under the source, pick MIDI note. Set the amount to 100. Set the first destination to Step Sequencer Transpose. Now we can play the note. Even better, we can set the gender to be MIDI note dependent, so it plays the appropriate gender on the low and high parts of the keyboard. For some added variation, we could use LFO1 to change the amp envelope release. Set LFO1 to waveform 8. Let's set LFO1 as our source and modulate amp envelope release. Set the amount to approximately 70. Add some delay if you like. Turn on the tempo sync and back off the level. And there's a sound. <laughs>